Hey, how's it going? We've got to redo my boat. The old 1976 Thunderbolt gave out. So I got a 2021 Suzuki 20 or 20 horse four stroke that I'm going to put on it. Picked it up today. So while I was doing all that, I decided to pull it off the trailer, set it up on my grandpa's old saw horses that are older than me. We're getting ready to paint this whole boat, get it looking good. And here's the paint scheme that I came up with. Kind of a timber bark look. It's got uh, three colors, black overlaying a, uh, a sand and another sandy color, uh, which is this color here. I only had one can of it and I can't find it anywhere here in Jeff City. So uh, I'm gonna make do with what I got. I'll uh, show you more once I'm done. Pretty excited about this. Been wanting to do this since I got this old 1970 Lindau boat. First step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take acetone and I'm gonna wipe down the boat, get it all nice and clean. That'll be step one. So I got the Rust-Oleum camo sand. Just want to go back and forth real slow. And when you let go of your finger, keep on going and that'll keep you from getting filled up the paint. And that's where you get your runs. wind. It wasn't windy all day until I start painting. Got Kennedy on the rattle can. One thing I did was taped over the, uh, the registration. Got new letters coming. There you go. Just like that. Second step. I got the satin nutmeg. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here a few spots. Just put a little accent. Just doing random different, different ways, kinda got a little too much over here. Got a little run. Take the run out of it, I'll let it dry and then I'll respray that. That's about it. I'll just do that in a few random spots and then we'll come back and do timber bark. Alright, here's my favorite part. We're gonna timber bark it with flat black. I got the pattern going. We're gonna have the pattern going like this. So this is all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna come about right here. Pull it off and do it again. A little harder with this angle than the back was flat. Then I'll rotate this every now and then just to get it. Make sure you're not getting the same pattern over. Just keep doing that all the way down the side of the boat. All right, we got one side done. I think it turned out too bad. I had to cut my stencils in half. They worked a little bit better on the angle. Not too bad. Well, here's the finished product. Got the motor on it. Getting ready to start it for the first time and break it in. 
Wish me luck. First time running. Okay, go. It's rolling, too. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Got the gas hooked up. That's different. I don't know. Make sure I know what I'm doing here. Okay, it's in neutral. There it is. That is way much quieter. Yeah. Wow, you can barely, barely hear it. Today I'm using a 3 16 inch, 3 16 ounce jig, Bobby Garland, blue ice. what I'm talking about make a nice meal down here on Lake of the Ozarks about the 82 mile mark fish aren't quite as big down here we're gonna get a nice little limit it's three three fish been fishing about 10 minutes <laughs> 